All right, it is VEDA day 27 and I'm still kicking back and relaxing in my hammock because if you're going to vlog, you should relax while doing it in my opinion. Um, there's a little bit of wind kicking up here so I don't have the windscreen on the mic and I really hope this turns out. Um, but the question of the day is what is your favorite sport? And my favorite sport is actually an Olympic sport and it's a sport I've never done and it's a sport I've never actually seen done but I've heard that it's done. Um, I, when I was in college I rode on a cycling club mountain bike team uh, at The Ohio State University, so it wasn't it wasn't a varsity team. It wasn't an official organized sport And I don't think the university had a Official mountain bike team at the time because this would have been uh, 1996 or so it wasn't You know if mountain biking wasn't as mainstream as it is now um, I think that was the first year mountain biking appeared in the Olympics and I um, I was really proud because the, the bike I managed to save up and buy for myself was uh, the, the frame on it was supposedly the same frame as the Olympic team was riding in there. So it's a really, it was, you know, it's not often that you get to use the same kind of equipment Olympic athletes do. Um, but yeah, uh, so I really like mountain biking, but I'm also uh, a marksman. I'm, uh, I've been shooting for many years. Uh, some of my co-workers actually introduced me to shooting and I started to learn more and more about it. I, I was actually interested more in the legal aspects, you know, just what's legal, what's not, and I started digging into the law and the laws I read, they just, you know, they make no sense. It's ridiculous. There are things that are legal that are f seem like they would be legal and then there are, I mean, it's just, it's completely random. Oh, I see a hawk flying up above, so I hope it doesn't attack me while I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, so I got interested in that and I, you know, once you're interested in, in firearms, I mean, you, if you want to, I mean, yeah, I guess there are a lot of people who just look at them in video games or read magazines about them, but I like to go out and, uh, and actually see what I can do with them. And, uh, so that's where marksmanship comes into play. And, uh, I, when I was a student at uh, the Ohio State University, I joined their pistol club and I became a uh, sharpshooter with the pistol. And uh, I think my designation is, it's like one below distinguished expert with the bullseye pistol. And that would be, I think, marksman ninth bar, they call it. So essentially I'm, I'm exceptionally proficient at shooting targets with a pistol. Um, I'd like to get into some more real-world simulations. I've done some, um, uh, it's called a dueling tree, so it's designed to simulate kind of a gunfight, but you're not shooting at each other, you're both shooting at a series of targets, and uh, each person gets three targets, and as you shoot, they flip back and forth to the other side. Um, so, like, if you and I were dueling together, you would shoot a target and it would go onto my side and I would shoot it and it would go back. And so you kind of have a race to see who can knock all the targets over to the other person's side. And, uh, and that's a duel. And it's timed and uh, you have a certain number of rounds that you can get off on it. And uh, so it, that's really exciting. I like to do that kind of stuff. But I'm interested now in a lot of rifle marksmanship. Uh, there's a really interesting device that I've seen come out. It's called uh, the tracking point rifle. <laughs> it seems to take a lot of the skill out of marksmanship, uh, though I think it's an interesting skill to hone because, uh, you know, the thing, uh, it's, you know, you might not know a lot about the sport of shooting, but it's kind of a zen-like uh, thing. You have to kind of clear your mind and focus on a lot of different factors in order to make the shot hit exactly where you want it to. and. Uh, you know, it's not at all like in the movies or TV, and I think that's why it's an Olympic sport. Now, this gets into my favorite is uh, there's a winter Olympic sport called biathlon. So what it is is they do cardio, uh, heavy cardio, so they get their blood really pumping, and then and that's uh, they do this by cross country skiing, and then they stop and they try to calm down their heart rate and breathing and everything, and very precisely place rifle shots on target. 
um, these are two vastly you know opposed disciplines on one you're just pushing your body uh, your body as hard as you can on the other you're trying to push your mind to overcome your body as hard as you can um, so I'm not so big on skiing uh, but I really like mountain biking and I've heard there's a summer sport equivalent it's mountain bike biathlon so essentially you do mountain bike riding and then you stop and try to shoot at targets and so that I think is my favorite sport in the whole world um, you know as far as watching sports I really like watching F1 racing I think that's you know an amazing technical achievement uh, air racing a lot of the X Games kind of stuff those are fun to watch so the more extreme sports I like um, not really so fond of traditional sports at all so anyway yeah mountain bike biathlon that's my favorite sport that I've ever heard of and uh, let me know what your favorite sports are as well uh, and if you've ever seen or tried mountain bike biathlon I'm looking forward to watching the mountain biking and uh, marksmanship sports in the Olympics coming up here in Rio uh, I think it's like 100 or 99 days from now um, but yeah, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.